What is going on everybody? Happy Halloween. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at a costume inspired version of a superstar. And today we're going to be talking about Seth Rollins. I had this custom made specifically for Halloween this year. And looking back, or in the future, probably looking back, it's going to be like, why did I do this? But felt right at the time and it looks pretty cool in person. So let's go ahead and talk about Seth Rollins as the god of mischief loki so let's get right on into it all right so i had my boy alpha action fix cook this one up in the lab and it is uh it is different for sure i know a lot of people do custom fantasy attire people based off comic book characters but i wanted to do loki you see he comes with his horns here this came with the marvel legends thor ragnarok loki i believe is the only figure it came with once i saw it laying around on a shelf I'm like, you know what, let me try and do something different with that. And it sits pretty good in the front. But if you're looking from up top, it looks a little weird. And then obviously it sits a little high in the back. But, it, you know, I'm not going to complain. It looks cool on the shelf. This is the, I believe, oh man, this is the... Elite 93 Seth Rollins body with an Ultimate Edition head on it. And believe it or not, do you remember when I did the Dusty Rhodes inspired Seth Rollins from his match last year with Cody? Let me grab the official release real quick. So last year I made a custom in this gear. This is the exact figure as you see with the white poking through on the painted boots there. This is the exact figure that was used for my custom with just paint over it. So we'll go ahead and take that official Rollins, put him over there to the side. This was a pretty freehand design entirely. I told him, I said, I want Loki inspired and I want you to do whatever you feel is best. Obviously you gotta go with green and gold for Loki and it looks very good. You have the little plate here that Seth Rollins typically has on his gear, mainly his older gear. And then you have these really cool gold plates down here as a continuation from the top there. Really like the look of that. On the back, nothing going on, just that shiny metallic green, which you guys saw on my Soul Ruka custom. Definitely go check out that video if you have not already. It's the same exact paint that was used for that. These knee pads, I believe, these are green knee pads that he supplied me with, and I did not know that, so Mike, thank you. You have the scale, kind of like the uh, the Norse chainmail, in a sense, on the right knee pad here. Looks really good. It fits Loki's character, and it fits Seth Rollins, because he has worn like types of armor as a knee pad before. You have the SR logo over there on the left. Looks really good. That was all free-handed as well. Then going down to the boots, they are painted gold, a nice looking gold color. And then I had him add Odinson on both sides of the boots. We were going to do Frost Giant and maybe do some blue elements for both, uh, or the boot that said Frost Giant, since that is where Loki is also from. He's not the true son of Odin, he's the adoptive son of Odin. And it would have been a really nice touch, but... I am really digging this, and I wish I had a jacket. I don't even know what I could use for Loki. Uh, like, <laughs> there's there's a lot of things we could use. I just don't know how it would look. Let me try something on off camera real quick and see how it would actually look on the figure. I'm going to keep you guys on here because this is going to be me trying because it is sitting on my desk. And I'm just looking at it, and it might actually end up looking pretty cool. It's not one of the colors that you would expect, but I think it would work perfectly fine. And that is the coat that comes with Carmelo Hayes. I'm digging it. I like it a lot. I'm liking that a lot. It's a really simple custom. I would recommend it to anybody that's even the smallest fan of the uh, the Marvel movies. And Loki is pretty hot right now. They're head first into season two so i am looking forward to it obviously this is the same size as other seth rollins figures as we saw here with his tribute to dusty i don't know if it was more so a tribute to dusty or if it was more of a dig at cody rhodes but i like it this is how he looks with the elite 105 big pop a pump 
That figure is just so ridiculous. <laughs> Can't really say enough good things about it. And then a little custom backstage Carmelo Hayes. He's a little too tall, but I do like it and it looks good. And that is going to be it for my Halloween video. Hope everybody has a good and safe night tonight out there trick-or-treating with their family. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and last but not least, take it easy.